good day, grade 9, and today we will be discussing about the production possibility frontier and the concept of efficiency. So when do we say efficiency, what does it mean? In economics, it's simply productive efficiency. It is uh, achieving as much output as possible from a given amount of inputs or resources. We say that we are maximizing the resource, okay? So hindi na hindi tayo nagsasayang and we are using everything. And now, uh, efficiency has something to do, of course, with a specified goal. And uh, in our PPF, there's also the concept of inefficiency. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin efficient ang isang tao, you are giving everything and you are maximizing you what you've got in order for you to hit your target. Okay? In our case, you are targeting production in order for us to provide for our needs and resource given that we have two available products. So, in the graph, how we're going to see the concept of efficiency and inefficiency. So, parang grades lang yan. Okay? In our case, we have two products that this economy is producing. We have guns on the y-axis and we have butter on the x-axis. We have four points which we can see on the graph. We have point A which is inside the curve. We have points C and B which we can see along the curve. And we have point D which is outside the curve. So what we're going to do right now, just like with the opportunity cost, is that we're going to see the concept using the graph and what we uh, what we have said last time uh, PPF is also it's like a drawing okay where we, we can see the concept again this is the concept of scarcity because this is your limit this is your frontier and again going back to the meaning of efficiency it means maximization dapat wala kang tinitira you have to maximize all the resource to produce guns and butter you must hit your frontier para ma maximize mo um, the concept of efficiency can be seen in the factory okay for example pag uh, before before covid uh, whenever uh, it's like september october the factories will be shifting their work and will be maximizing their time how from the 8 hours of work they're going to impose the what we call the 24 hours work how is that they're going to have two shifts Okay, so their people, their laborers, their workers will uh, go and work for the factory from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the other shift, the night shift, will be working from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., seven days a week. Hindi nagpapahinga ang, 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 ano, ang mga machines because that is how they maximize the resource. Otherwise, it would not be rational. Okay, so in our case, we have point A and we can see that point A right here is inefficient but it is attainable kayang kayang gawin ng point a however class the description is inefficient why again the, the the meaning of efficiency it means maximization so in our case point a we have four guns and six butter uh, kaya pero hindi efficient kasi kung kung gugustuhin ng economy na to it can produce far beyond point a there's still available resource for example if this economy would opt to produce point C, it's still attainable and efficient. Okay, it could have six butter and six guns. Or if the economy would push to point B, it could have four guns and eight butter. So either of the two, okay, they are the efficient, uh, they are the efficient production. Meanwhile, point A, it is considered as inefficient. Kasi hindi mo pinush, okay, you did not maximize your resource. So, what is the rule that we can see right now? Okay, okay, points inside the curve are actually attainable but inefficient. Okay, now let's go to points C and B. Okay, ano ang characteristic ng points C and B? So, points C and B, they are considered as efficient points. So, what, sir, if there's a point here and a po another point here, again, it would not change. They are still considered as efficient. Why? Because again, they maximize the resource, they hit their limit, they hit their highest potential, and thus, they are efficient. Ito yung mga best points na tinatawag. Okay? So, whatever will be the choice of this uh, economy, whether point C, which will produce 6 guns and 6 butter, or point B, which will produce 4 guns and 8 butter, it's, it doesn't make a difference. They are still the best point. Okay? Okay pa rin yun. Ang mangyayari na lang depende sa pangangailangan. 
but still they have to hit the limit. So this is what PPF is showing you that uh, the efficient points are the points along the curve. Now we have the last point and we can see that it's outside the curve. Hindi na hit ng, ng uh, curve ang point D. So ang point D, ano ang description? Okay, what is the current situation of this point D? Okay, point D as of now, as of now, given the, the resource and technology, it's called unattainable. Okay, so hindi pa kaya. Because perhaps there's no technology or perhaps the resources are scarce or perhaps the government wouldn't allow it. Okay, whatever will be the reason, point D is unattainable. Okay, so what is another example aside from the factory? Okay, ano pang ibang example para maintindihan natin ang concept ng PPF and efficiency? Let's say that these are your grades. This will be math and this will be science. May mga bata na pag nag-aral sila hanggang dito lang sa point A. Okay? They are not maximizing their time. They are not maximizing their energy in studying. Thus, they would have a grade like this. Perhaps 77 in math and 80 in science. Where in fact, if they are going to be efficient, if they will choose and they will be disciplined to be efficient, they could push their grade as high as point C, which perhaps they have 80 and uh, 80 or point B, which will have 78 and uh, 85. So, ang student minsan, hanggang dito lang siya sa point A. Pero ang katotohanan, the reason why we are pushing you to your limit, it's because we know that we have to be efficient. Kaya pa kasi. But there are cases na, as of now, hindi pa talaga kaya ng mga bata. We call it pointing. Ito yung mga next subject na napang higher level. Okay? So, I hope that this helps in explaining the concept of efficiency. As I close, efficiency is different from being effective. When you say efficient, you are doing things right. When you say effective, you are doing the right thing. And in our case, the PPF is about doing things right in terms of maximizing your resource and really in terms of uh, ensuring that your needs and wants are really at their best. So with that, I hope you understood the concept of efficiency, inefficiency, and attain an attainable point in the PPF. Thank you.